it's us. Uh. Yo, Swap Play Boys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm just gonna jump straight into it, bro, because it's kind of late. Um, today, we're gonna be installing my Action Plus Stage 5. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I wanted to upgrade because the Stage 3. I believe it's going out, so I wanted to get something that has a little bit more clamping force because that's I think that's what I think is happening. Um, I have problems shipping into third sometimes, and uh, sometimes the car just felt like it was slipping, like it, the power wasn't there. So um, I know it's not the tune, so we're gonna be swapping out the clutch for something a little bit more beefier, which is a stage five. Uh, if you guys don't know, Ashton clutch uh, stage five is nothing more different than a stage three. Only thing that's different is the pressure plate. So yeah, hopefully that's. That's gonna help a lot. Um, I heard that the like the pedal feel is more aggressive. Well, yeah, I heard the pedal feels more aggressive. Can't be that bad. Like, not gonna be as worse as the act like uh, Iron Man. So, yeah, man, we're gonna try it out. Y'all can't even see me, bro. Maybe y'all can see me, but I can't see myself. But yeah, we're gonna be heading over to my boy Abe's house. He's gonna help me with the install. Shout out to Abe. Appreciate you for everything you do, bro. Always down to help me. And if you ever need help, bro, hit me up. Alright guys, so we made it over to Abe's house. We got most of the stuff out so far. Um sub friend is out right here. I'm not gonna give you guys a full detailed video on how to do this. If you guys wanna see how to install your clutch, I do have a detailed video on my... <laughs> I do have a detailed video on the channel when I installed the stage three clutch. Um, now we're going with the action stage five. That bad boy right there. Um, yeah, man. So I'm gonna set you guys down. We're gonna do a little time lapse. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much almost, not done, but almost there to taking out the trash. And I don't think we've even been working on the car for that long. Let me suck it up. I done got that butt. I'm going to go and give you a mud. Y'all niggas stop on top. I nigga know y'all later. Yeah. I'm on the dogs getting paid. Y'all gonna see what y'all hate her. Yeah. We too plug, can't pay her. Diamonds on my neck, they skate her. Fill with the seat, they skate her. We throw bitches, not chair her. She keeps looking up the stairs. Screw me up, she has a skate her. Every time she's been there. It's filthy, but it's okay. One day I'll pressure wash it or something. But uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clutch is in. Action stays five. Say RP to my foot. How long has it been? Oh, a lot of time. 11 24. Like 12. It's not bad. What's the fastest you ever did a clutch? Uh, my well, solo dolo. I'm not gonna lie, last one took me like five hours. Oh, nice. Four or five hours. That's, That's not bad, right? Pain in the ass. But we can <laughs> do this a lot quicker, especially with helps, you know, like they're helping. Yeah. So, like, so the steps I would take to clean the tranny, clean the flywheel, lube up the tranny. Take one side of the you, you help me with one side of the freaking subframe. You took off the shit at the top, like you know what I'm saying? That's just yeah. that that helped a lot. Like four thousand RPM. Uh, you see, so in here, kind of like get in here. We just gotta just wedge it. It's the point of no return because you always destroy it when you take it out. Yeah. And the other one. What's going on? Did you grab the uh? Damn, for yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Abe been trying to hit me with those jokes he was doing with you. I was just kind of almost yeah, got me. Oh, Brian, bro, it's a crash, bro. bro and Brian so be like, bro. Nah, bro, it be annoying as fuck because, bro, I'm, I'm there believe. for like six, I'm there for like two hours, bro, sweating. <laughs> I'm there for two hours sweating, bro, taking this shit out. And then when I finally do, I'll be like, yo, hey, bro, so what you think? Damn, me, I don't know. I'm like, nah, motherfucker. Not because it, 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 I mean, it's things that did happen, though. Bro. Right. Since that block, I guess, is from an older, like, it's an older Z3. Just like that, bro. Everything's back to normal, bro. Clutch is installed. Everything goes into gear perfectly fine. Yeah, man. So I've been driving with the Stage 5 Action Clutch for about four days now. Um, the last clip you guys seen, bro, after that last clip, everything just got real crazy. I started to get lightheaded. Mind you, we outside in Florida, it was like, at like freaking 95, 98 degrees with no wind. So it's like just straight heat. We're under a tent. I'm on my like, my like eighth bottle of water, bro. And I just started getting lightheaded because I didn't eat much. So like, I just stopped recording. I wanted to get the damn clutch installed and get it out and get it done. Bro, why does camera keep trying me, bro? Like, come on. There we go. Light skin showing back in the building. But, uh, yeah, so I really wasn't feeling well, so I stopped recording and I wanted to just focus on getting the car up and running. And then we ran into some little issues. Uh, we had misaligned the steering wheel and started throwing up crazy codes. So if you guys ever have like uh, your ABS, your traction light flashing and your steering wheel popping up, it's usually because obviously if you did a clutch or you had to drop the subframe and uh, you disconnected you know, your, your uh, steering shaft, if you don't line it back up, you will get all those codes and it will throw off your car and your car's gonna act like it's retarded. Pause. Well, not retarded, but it's gonna act really messed up. So, um, yeah, all you gotta do is realign it, make sure you put it exactly where you have it, mark that little piece, and all the, all that issue is gone. But yeah, that's what we ran into. Um, we didn't line it up right, so we had kept having to twist it and turn, and it just took forever. And then, uh, yeah, we eventually got it. As you guys can see, there's no codes on the dash and uh, Dusty drives perfectly fine. Um, I don't know if I ever brought this up to you guys with my stage three clutch, action clutch. I kept having this weird like knocking noise and I thought it was a trance and it turned out it was a damn throw out bearing and I don't hear nothing. Like the car idles so quiet and I, I bro, I love it. Car idles quiet, it revs faster. Like it's crazy, bro. So, I'll give you guys a quick little drive. I know y'all probably peeped that my pants is different. This is a new day, and I did switch over to the GoPro. Um, I just want to give you guys my honest, like, like opinion of driving, of driving this car with the Stage Five Action Clutch. I got about like five days with it now, so you feel me? So I guess I could give a decent, you know, a decent opinion about how the car feels with with the clutch. All right, so I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the car does have gear chatter. Like if I put the clutch in right now, it gets quiet and you, all you hear is the engine. But once I release the clutch, you hear chattering, which means that the clutch is chattering. So if you guys don't want to hear the chatter of your gears and all that craziness, like if I rev it, you could kind of hear it as I rev the car. And uh, that's gear chatter. So if you guys don't want that, I don't recommend you even upgrading your clutch because I believe any, well, most aftermarket clutches for uh, the 9th gen platform, they all have gear chatter, bro. So you can't get it, like, you really can't get rid of it. Like, sometimes you just gotta put the music up and drive, I mean, that's it. But uh, it's not really that bad. Uh, I do have upgraded gears in this car too, so everything's a little bit, lo a little bit louder. Um, but, like car feels smooth dry smooth that was a nice first gear engagement you feel me um i would be wiping my windshield right now but i don't have wipers on my car i literally took them off and i never put it back on the stage five doesn't feel any different than the stage three in my opinion um just slightly different um nothing that's gonna be like holy crap when you put your foot on the pedal still feels nice um the difference between the stage five and the stage three from what i read on action clutch is just the pressure plate so what's you know what goes what goes on top of the the clutch and uh yeah 
see I'm driving right now out of second gear like the car feels amazing drives amazing um one thing I do recommend you guys doing is if you're gonna be using the action the action provided uh throw out bearing don't try to go get an OEM one that's what I did and I feel like that's why I don't have so much like throw out bearing noises because usually I get a weird throw out bearing noise and I fix that by putting the OEM one in and not using the action one and by the way they did up they did update that part number for uh, Honda it the like the part itself is different OEM one like the little centerpiece I don't even know what it's called it's like a little centerpiece it's usually smaller on a new updated one is longer and it's thicker pause and I think they did that for the type R's and stuff like that so yeah bro I'm gonna give it a couple months and we're gonna see how this thing sound um obviously I haven't done a pull on the car yet can't do a pull I probably even I probably don't even have like 60 miles on the on a clutch yet but I can tell you this with the new with the new what the heck why this lady got a beach bag and it's raining? Ain't no beach around here. Anyways, there's a uh, what was I even saying? With the new with the new uh clutch, the car does like build boost faster. It it feels more aggressive. It wants to go. So yeah, bro, I'm enjoying it. As you guys seen, taking off was simple. Easy gear engagement is easy. But also the reason everything like this, everything is like really easy for me is because I did make sure I uh, I adjusted the, the pedal. Every time you get a clutch, don't matter if you go from stage three to another stage three, adjust that pedal, bruh. Oh man, that sounds amazing. Also, I can't really do a pull if I even wanted to because you can see my steering wheel. That bit is leaning, boy. That bit leaning to the right. I got to uh, definitely do freaking uh, alignment. I got some old suspension parts that I got to replace. Bro, this car needs some work. Well, some, some, some suspension work, not really like engine work. But that's on this way. I did order some new uh, outer tie rods because I believe that's what's going bad on my car. And also, I ordered uh, some. Uh, well, actually, no, I didn't even order that. I was just looking at it. I was going to order some end links, but I don't know. I might keep the adjustable end links on the car and just check them out, and make sure they're straight. But I believe they're straight. I think it's just my outer tie rods that are trash. Bro, I can't wait until I'm able to do a pull with this damn stage five clutch. Like, listen to how it sounds when I do a uh, roller anti-lag. See if I put it in second. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's ready, oh my gosh. She ready. We're going to end off this video upstairs in my room, bro. See y'all there. All right, guys. So this is where I'm going to end off the video. Like I said in the last clip, it's been a couple days since I was driving with the clutch. Sorry if I sound congested because, honestly, I really am. Um, sound like, I feel like I'm getting like a real bad sore throat, but whatever. Um, I want to give a huge shout-out to A for helping me out with the install. Bro, it was so hot doing this whole install, and that boy was out there with me knocking everything out, and I really appreciate it. Also, I'm gonna give a huge shout out to my girlfriend. Today's her birthday. So in the comments, everybody spam, happy birthday, Regine, R-E-G-I. What the hell, R-E-G-I-N-E. -E. And uh, yeah, um, it's from another video, man. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow me boy on Instagram, on Instagram, got the soda. Head to the merch site, www.zubi garage. Click the description, I got the links to my Discord, everything. So if you wanna join the Discord, chat with me, chat with everybody, you know what I'm doing, like when I'm going live on Instagram or live on Twitter, or not Twitter, live on Twitch, everything's in Discord. So go there, check it out. Um, yeah, that's how I'm gonna end up the video. Your boys out, peace.